Hello friends, welcome to website automationcommunity.com. In the last video, we have created a scene in the factory I.O. for speed control of conveyor. In today's video, I will show you the ladder programming and simulation of that topic. So quickly, let us start our TIA portal from here. So let us click on create new project. So I will write the name of my project. So this is the second topic in our series so i will just write topic number two okay and that is speed control of conveyor and create so we have to configure device first we have to select such a plc which has two analog inputs and two analog outputs so let us see that which plc suits our requirement so click on add new device and plcs will appear over here so we have to select S1200 PLC which has two analog inputs or two analog outputs. So in the description we can check whether it has analog output or not. It doesn't have. Let us check for 1215C. Here you can see two analog inputs and two analog outputs. So these are perfect for our example. So let us add this CPU into our project now friends here you can see the address of digital input outputs and analog input and outputs let us go to programs and as discussed earlier we have to copy paste one function block over here so for that minimize this and again open TIA portal for opening the sample factory IO file from which we will copy the function block so this is my sample file i will open this click on write plc program and we have to copy paste this function block so right click over here click on copy and now again come to our original project that is this one and here we have to paste it so right click in this area and paste you can see it is pasted now we can close that sample file project we will write the PLC text of this project. So let us quickly write it in default text table only. So first of all, there is start button. After that, there comes reset button. And now in the outputs, I will write start indicator. So this is our output. So here we have to change it. That is Q0.0. Now here reset light Q0.1. Then in the factory IO we have emitter and remover. Now uh, we will write potentiometer for analog input. So here also we have to change the address. Potentiometer is analog input. So first of all here I have to change its type. Analog input is real type. So we have to select real. And now here we have to change its address. In the PLC it was 64 and 67 address. But uh, just because we are doing the simulation. In the factory IO the address was ID30. So here let me write ID30 only. Now here I will write my outputs. So first one was conveyor our analog output so this is my output that will be my QD30 so I will write QD30 because in my factory IO you can see it is like this QD30 QD34 uh, we can change here but let it be QD34 and 30 only and uh, we have one screen over control panel in factory IO so that will be our QD34 so this is all for a uh, over this project now we can start our programming so click on main ob1 first of all we have to enable our function block so select this and write over here so our address of our function block is fc9000 so if we write fc9000 over here uh, this function block will be enabled you can see its address was fc9000 now here simply we will form one latching circuit 
So I am writing network command like this. So what we need first our start button i0.0 then in parallel to it we need our memory bit which we want to let m0.0 and let it connect over here. Now here we want reset button to unlatch this circuit that is our i0.1 and finally one output coil which is our memory bit m0.0. Now we, what we want to do if this memory bit is on then our conveyor should be on besides that start light should be on emitter and remover should be on. So here we want one anocontact that is our memory bit and in the output as I told you we want start light so that was our Q0.0 in parallel to it we want emitter and remover to be on so that will be our Q0.2 here again we want remover that was our Q0.3 now if the output is off then we have to blow over reset light so we will use NC contact of memory bit M0.0 light our reset button that was our Q0.1 now we will write network for our analog input potentiometer so this network is to scale analog input coming from potentiometer so first of all we want to insert one block over here so that we can do by this and here we will write scale x so we can select this and press enter it will ask us four items so minimum uh, how we want to scale this so we want to scale this from 0 to 10 minimum and maximum 10 and what is the input so as I discussed our input is ID 30 that is coming from our potentiometer and here we have to select our type so our input is real and we have to select our output type that should be integer and where we want to store our output so let us select dummy data register MD 30 and press enter here, here we will write MD 30 so we will store this scaled value to MD 30 and again here I will insert another function block uh, that will be norm x so select this and press enter so again now after scaling this input coming from potentiometer we want to give it to conveyor in form of 0 to 10 volt so here again I will scale it in 0 to 10 form and what is my input so my input is MD30 and this will be from integer to real so here I have to select integer to real in the output what I will write I will write the address of my screen that was QD34 so in the screen I will show this besides this what I want when the conveyor is on I want to move this value to the conveyor output so let us select this NO contact and M0.0 why I am writing like this because if I don't keep this bit then what happens directly even if the start button is pressed or not this will move a value of potentiometer to our output conveyor and conveyor will keep moving so it is necessary that uh, we keep this memory bit if this bit is on then only this value should move in our conveyor output so here we want one move block so I will write move over here and click over here so if start button is pressed and this bit is latched then only uh, what should happen this QD34 value should move to QD30 that is our conveyor now what happens if I turn off this bit till the screen will show the value of potentiometer so when the stop button is pressed now what happens 
once the conveyor is on that is this bit is on the value of potentiometer will go to conveyor but even if this turns off what will happen conveyor will have stored the last value means last if i have moved phi into qd30 then it will keep it as it is so it won't stop if you want to stop the conveyor we have to move 0 to qd30 so here what i will do i will take one no contact okay let me delete one so as soon as the reset button is pressed so that is our input 0 0.1 as soon as the reset button is pressed what should happen again we have to move one data so again we will use move block and press enter so this time we will move 0 to our qd30 so let us write over here q0.0 .0. so now it can remove the error first it was integer and because this is the real that was error was coming so i have just written 0, 0.0 so it became real so if the reset button is pressed it will move 0 to this analog value so our conveyor will stop so this is all about our programming now let us compile both main ob and function block first of all let us compile our main ob so here compilation is being done now similarly we have to compile our function block so double click on the function block so let us compile this also now again open main ob and minimize this because we want to open our plc simulator and turn on the simulator now we can download our project to our simulator from this icon okay that you can see from here click on the load button now again open your plc sim and click on the run button on the cpu now we have to open our factory io so in the last video we have configured our driver and we have also configured our scene like this you can see we have set up this scene and by going to driver we have configured this input and outputs so now let us connect it like this start button that is i0.0 .0. reset button i0.1 output was okay second output is reset okay second output is reset first output is start button light then our emitter and remover q0.4 and q0.3 okay sorry here q0.3 and emitter that is q0.2 potentiometer that is our analog input you can see over here now qd30 is our belt conveyor qd34 was our digital display so i have written screen as comment in the ladder programming now we have to click on connect button so if a green tick mark appears over here that means we have connected to our plc simulator so as you can see green tick mark is achieved that means we have successfully connected to our plc simulator now from here we will go to simulate this factory io so run this model and as soon as i will press the start button now conveyor will not move because the analog value is zero so if i scroll this potentiometer you can see uh, slowly the conveyor has started now as i increase this potentiometer you can see the speed has increased okay further if i increase the speed right now it is only removing the box not the pellets if you don't want the pellets you can also configure our emitter by right click over it and in the configuration here in the part to emit we can unselect this pelletizing box okay and these are just box so base here we can select unpellet square pellet and now only box will come so again let us turn on the simulator and increase the speed so you can see speed has increased now let us check our stop function long press this reset button you can see screen 
has the value that is the last value okay that is the current value of potentiometer that is showing in the screen but the conveyor output is zero right now so as soon as i will long press this start button conveyor has started and let us check the full speed you can see the full speed as i am decreasing the value you can see the speed of the conveyor is decreasing this is low speed and this is the lowest speed and if i press the stop button conveyor is stop we can also check these things in our ladder programming so let us decrease this size and here we have to okay, let me minimize this and here we have to click on monitor on so we can check this all but before that let me maximize our workspace like this so as soon as i press this button you can see this latching network activated and if i press this stop button that is our reset button my network is de-energized now let us check other networks so here also if we press start button these outputs are energized now let us see what is happening to our these values so as soon as i am moving this potentiometer so potentiometer is giving the same value over here if we right now if we don't use this calx and normx then also directly we can give this output to the work conveyor but in our real life uh, this value is in form of 0 to 10 volts and by using the analog or digital modules what happens that value is converted to decimal value like if we apply 10 volts in potentiometer to plc that will be giving some value like 4000 or 40000 so that value we have to scale and nomex so so in the real life uh, we have to use scalex and nomex function for analog input and outputs so so this was all about this topic speed control of conveyor using factory iu and Siemens TIA portal. If you want to learn more interesting examples in the factory IO, then show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video with another interesting example.